Happy peeps, Susanna here today to share with you this layout that I created using Shamil's Glitter Girl collection. This is a collaboration today that I am doing with my friend Desiree. Uh, we are both stash busting this collection from Tuesday morning and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I happen to have the project pack. So I have pattern papers. There are stickers within that. Um, there are some letters that are within that. I also have these goodies that you'll see here. So I have those thickers, those glitter thickers. They are not part of that collection, um, but I also have the sticker pack and I have some of the ephemera that is part of my Tuesday morning stash, as well as you can just see poking out the corner actually both of those there are stamp sets that are also from a Tuesday morning haul. One of them happens to be Dear Lizzie and the other is Vicki Booten. But when I built a kit for this, I pulled all those things together because I knew I wanted to use the circles um, that are in the pattern paper as well as I wanted to have a long title. Um, and so the layout is really based around the title and this long title here. So the title is Together is a Wonderful Place to Be. Um, and so you can see how I've put that title down and then I'm going to work around the title and the photo to get everything in there. I also happen to have these tags um, and they're from Hampton Arts that are also from Tuesday morning. Uh, pretty much everything that I use here is from Tuesday morning. And so I knew I wanted that pink tag and I knew I wanted to incorporate a few of the other colors to create some balance throughout the layout. So I'm going to use that blue navy um, on the right hand side and it almost creates an arrow to the innermost part of the layout so that um, you'll see as the layout is completed that the diagonals that are in that top stripe from Simple Stories, and that is also from Tuesday morning, um, creates a diagonal movement through the layout because you're going to have the photo on that top left-hand corner and you're gonna move through that title or that wonderful part of the title um, over to that where the journaling is going to be on that right hand side. And so while the movement moves from top to left, that inward arrow kind of also creates a different pattern of movement, um, kind of guiding your eye back up to the photo if you happen to have started on the bottom right hand side, if that makes any sense. So what I have here is uh, one of the pattern papers that I showed you early on in the video um, has all of these circles. They almost are kind of like bubbles. Um, so I fussy cut a bunch of those to just kind of add to the layout. Um, and I'm going to use them to fill that white space at the bottom down below. I've got one of them behind one of those circles. It's the hot pink one that is behind the O. Um, again, just to add some color to that. And now I'm using the Vicki Booten stamps and some distress inks um, and various inks so that I have inks of coordinating colors. Uh, that's a distress ink. It's not an oxide, I was trying to see, sorry. Um, just to create so that there are, it's that continued movement of the circles, but not all of them are closed. Uh, I searched high and low for this Vicki Booten stamp set and I was so pleased to be able to find it. So this title is a multi-font title. I'm going to use that gold glitter thicker for together. And then is a, and place to be, is that stamp from Dear Lizzie. Uh, and that is what I sent out as one of my 3000 subscriber prizes. Um, and then wonderful is the other part of that title there. So once I've got the title in place, um, even though I had arranged all of the circles before, I'm going to rearrange them all over again. Um, so what I'm looking for here, this is that project pack that came from Tuesday morning. I want to put some layers around the photo, and so I'm pulling some papers that will just be paper layers around the photo. I want to have different colors, um, and you can see I pulled that pink unicorn there, which I will actually put back because it's too busy. Um, but if I use that blue unicorn, they're much smaller and you can't really see that they're unicorns that I chopped in half. <laughs> um, so that will be my first layer. 
behind the photo and then I'm just going to do that yellow glitter because it goes with the glitter papers that are in the circle and then I'm going to use that scrap of green in there and what I'm writing on that tag there is I have the, I always put the date when I print my photos on the back um, I do print my photos from home and so I was just writing on the journal tag because I'm now covering the date um, and that way if I have the date written somewhere on the layout I'm much more inclined to put the date on the layout rather than forget it and have to search for it somewhere else. So that's the third paper layer there and then there's a tag from the ephemera kit that I'm going to stick in and again I like the way that that tag sticking out of the photo almost balances the the inward movement of the journal spot down below. So the whole point of uh, this layout, um, somebody asked me recently what is a stash bash. So a stash bash is when you go into your stash and you try and purposefully use something from your stash. Um, not necessarily something new, but something that has been sitting there in a while. Uh, and I actually have a playlist that's called Tuesday Morning Stash Bash. So what I do is I try and pull a kit uh, together based on things that I have found at Tuesday morning and I make a pers purposeful effort to use up those goodies um, and Desiree and I had talked about maybe doing a series um, I cannot commit to a series right now um, I already have a new series that's coming in February so be stay tu stay tuned for that um, and uh, I just um, time is of the essence in my life I've had some uh, uh, I've kind of gotten derailed, I'm going to be honest. Um, there's a actually something else coming down the pike based on that derailed. Um, and so I've gone off on a tangent. See, I got derailed. Um, yeah, so that's what this this is stash bashing. Uh, she and I, or we our plan was to find something that we had both bought um, and show you different ways of using that same um, collection and or object that we got from Tuesday morning because she's also a uh, Tuesday morning haul sharer. Um, <laughs> I make up my own words, I'm not going to lie. Um, so Desiree also shops at Tuesday morning and uh, puts up some haul videos and so she and I both wanted to show you how you can use the same goodies um, and end up with completely different results um, and show you different ways of doing the same thing. Uh, so be sure to head over to Desiree's channel and check out what it is that she's done with these similar goodies. She doesn't have um, all of the same things that I have, but she did use some of the same things that I have. She does not have the pattern paper from the Glitter Girl collection, um, but she has other goodies. So this is the end of the video. You can see how I've put that all together. I am going to put in some added stars off camera um, as well as a gold ribbon just to kind of uh, and a gold heart to tie the uh, three things together. Um, and in fact, I might do that actually on camera, but I am going to put some other heart uh, stars in there for just a little bit to fill up that white space at the top there. And then I'm going to journal. So be sure to head over to De Desiree's channel and see what it is that she's doing. Enjoy these close ups. Thanks for stopping in today. And I can't wait to see you next time. Take care. <music>